but I thought it was a wind up. Yeah. Cool, I was like, okay. Yeah, do you know what? I loved it, to be honest. <laughs> They call me uncle. Magical pop. Yeah, it's Bro. magical. What's up, boys, and welcome to the 90 premium end of era Jermaine Defoe, the absolute legend, a man that has played for everyone from Tottenham uh, to uh, West Ham, even played for Toronto. Uh, I believe he played, who else did he play for? Man has played for Rangers, he's played currently plays for Sunderland, he's played for Portsmouth, he's played for Bournemouth. Uh, it's just an absolute legend, the legend of the game, goes ahead and gets himself a massively, massively jacked off card up from his 68 rated base card. Uh, had two 68 rated base cards this year because he transferred from one team to Sunderland, uh, and now we see him get him, uh, now we see him get an end of era card. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but in FIFA 18, didn't we get a end of era Jermaine Defoe as well? Did he announce his retirement then? I'm not 100% sure. Maybe you guys let me know in the comments. Let me know if you think this is a dub. I think this is an SBC that everyone should defo consider completing. If you thought that was a dub joke, smash like on Epi. If you thought it was a little bit cringe, but you think the kit that I'm wearing is kind of fire as well, smash like on Epi. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. So, uh, let's get into the card. We got a new, uh, we got a couple set of mini release players today. We got a uh, leads player, which Nick, I'm sure Nick would be happy about. And then we also got ourselves a 92 uh, foot hero captain, Mario Gomez, who's going for a million coins, got the four star skill move upgrade uh, and uh, looks just absolutely cracked. We also got the rule uh, Raul moments SPC. Uh, but the star of the show, in my opinion, is a card that is going for like 65, 70,000 coins. Now, some people might say uh, that 70,000 coins for a championship player is a little bit crazy, but... It is a really nuts card at this stage of the game. It's easy to get links in. I think you could pr probably make an argument. It should have been probably 45, 50K. But again, it's Jermaine Defoe. If you guys know anything about him or have followed his career, you're an English national team supporter. You absolutely love this card. And you're probably going to find a way to get him done. Uh, for 50, you know, for 50, 60K, if his price comes down a little bit, some people might even consider him fodder. So we're going to see how he plays. Four-star skill moves, four-star weak foot, high-low, 5'7", has the lean body type with 92 acceleration, 92 sprint speed. That goes up to 97 each. Already has 96 attacking positioning, 92 finishing, 92 shot power. Has a nice bit of long shots with some very, very nice volleys. Passing stats, that's why I'm putting the engine. Makes him have 99 curve. Gets his short passing up 90. Vision goes up a little bit. Dribbling stats already cracked. 99 agility, 99 balance, 96 dribbling with 90 ball control, 98 composure. Has himself 94 jumping with 99 he heading accuracy. So for those of you guys that have figured out the heading meta, this is a card for you. Maybe link him up with Wowdy Wegs if you can get the green links in. 75 strength with 95 aggression, the finesse shot, flare, and outside foot shot trade. So a ridiculous, ridiculous little card. We're putting him into an English attack, including Jermaine Defoe. We've got Ryan Kent. We've got Harry Kane. He obviously played for Spurs, so we've got Harry Kane in there. We've got David Becks, the 92, uh, the 92 rated, uh, the 92 version of his card. We're going to have Fernandinho, and we've got ourselves Mark Noble uh, again getting into the, uh, into the starting lineup. So a pretty fun little squad here. Uh, don't really know what to expect from the card. Hard, but I mean, 5'7", lean, high, low, finesse shot, outside the foot shot trade, all the stats that he has, it's a pretty basic equation. And I think I can, you know, I, it's a safe bet that this card is going to be able to perform for you. Question is, do you have an English squad where you're going to be able to get him links? And that's what we're going to find out right now. Is he worth completing? I would say already, like I said, for 65, 70,000 coins, pretty damn cracked. Match number one. Defoe! Let's go! In 2017, Jermaine Defoe adopted a vegan diet in order to along, prolong his football career. He is teetotal. I don't know what that means. Defoe was appointed an officer of the Order of the British Empire in the 2018 birthday honors for his service services to the Jermaine Defoe, Defoe Foundation, a charitable foundation that he founded in 2013. I mean, there's just so many reasons why this card. There's so many reasons why this this card is actually cracked. Okay, so he kind of looks tiny. Bro, even next to Mo Salah, bro. Yo, hold on. He's 5'7"? Defoe! Yo, Def they call me uncle. Yo, my man Defoe is rapid, actually. Balls up in the air. They call me uncle. Defoe! Jermaine Defoe, let's go, boys! Come on! Okay, um, Defoe's movement is ridiculous. The lean body type, if you have a player that's like under 5'9 or 5'8 and he's got the lean body type. Defoe! Defoe! Oh, 
such a great goal. <laughs> Did you see the left hand long stick dribbling on Defoe? He's got the four star skill moves. Did he? Does he have four star skill moves on his base? I mean, does it even matter? Does it even matter if he has four star skill moves on his base on his base silver card? No one's using it. Uh, I, I just want to see what kind of upgrades they gave him. He had three star, four star, and they gave him the four star skill moves. That's huge. Oh, that's a great goal. He's different. Defoe's a different kind of card. Uh, again, the only issue with this card, I would say he's a little bit overpriced at 65, 70,000 coins, and he may be, for some, a little bit difficult to get links into, but as it, as is the case with any of these end-of-era players, you know, that played in the Premier League and they maybe go down the championship side, kind of like how Rooney had that, uh, he had like an end-of-era, uh, Derby card, um, if you can get the links in, you're gonna have a player who's literally, literally, I don't want to say icon-esque, but, I mean... Compare this card to like a moment's Michael, Michael, did, did I just get scored against with Michael Owen? That's David Bex to Jermaine Defoe. That's David Bex to Jermaine Defoe. That was a double X pass. Jermaine Defoe's finishing in front of Box is uh, is phenomenal. But the thing that's really standing out about the Jermaine Defoe card is one, he's an emotional Sunderland player, and two, his movement is mad. The lean, I, I think there's something to do with the fact that he's kind of short on the five, you know, five seven. Um, that coupled with the dribbling stats and then the lean body type, I feel like that combo right there makes him. They call me uncle. See what I mean? His ability to move past even a flashback. I think that's a flashback of uh, Rafa Varane. I don't even know what skill move that was. I didn't even mean to do that. I meant to do the Burba, and for whatever reason, it did that skill move. But that's, you know, that's just FIFA things. Jermaine, <laughs> Jermaine Defoe. Man is, almost, man is almost hitting 40. Man is pushing 40, and he's moving like Prime Pele. Um, that was an insane save. Balls up in the air. Defoe! Jermaine Defoe's finishing is, uh, I, I, like, like, guys, you guys, I, I say it pretty much in every episode whenever we have a player that's super cheap. Jermaine Defoe's finishing is literally icon-esque. He's got 98 composure with 95 finishing. The card is absolutely banjaxed. And Jermaine Defoe goes ahead and gets the Hattie in the third and final match. Seven total attempts, three goals. Again, lean body type, so he's tiny. He can get around those. Uh, he can get around those spaces. And then we get ourselves the third goal right here, which is a nice little uh, uh, through ball. And then this was, this was the kind of goal where you know you have something special. If you take a look at the angle, it's not the easiest angle to score from. Ryan Kent sends it in, one touch, and a lovely, lovely little vo uh, lovely, lovely uh, little volley. Fantastic goal from Jermaine Defoe. Plenty of power behind it as well. Love this card. Might even take him into a fourth match. Might even take him into a fourth match. I love it. You absolutely love it. Really so much fun. Parece que confundido los colores de la camiseta. Qué fácil se lo llevó. Take a bow, son. I, I can't really I can't really explain it other than showing you guys what I'm doing in this epi right now, but his movement is mad. His movement is absolutely cracked. Broken. He's a broken card. That's gotta be in. And he knows it too. I haven't done, I don't think I've done a single body faint in FIFA 22. This guy might be out of here. I don't think I've done a single FIFA, I don't think I've done a single body faint in FIFA 22. And we just executed one, 
with near FIFA 21 precision. Sometimes in FIFA, you just have to let the card speak for itself, and eight goals in four games played, not even a full four games. I think it was something like two and a half. We had a couple rage quits. The Defoe card just banged goals, and it's not surprising. 92 shot power, 92 finishing. Some of you guys might want to put a Hawkeye to get the finishing and shot power jacked off a little bit, but in my opinion, I think it's much better spent putting it and getting that 86 dribbling all the way up to 96. In my opinion, that is where it's worth. I'm fine having the 92, uh, I'm fine having 97 sprint speed, 90, uh, 97 acceleration, and like I said, I like getting the passing stats jacked off a little bit if you want to run him maybe as a, maybe as a center forward or cam if you run like kind of three striker, whatever, three striker formations or something like that, but um, I really enjoyed this, uh, I really enjoyed this Jermaine Defoe card, I, uh, you know, I, like, you know, Big ups, big ups to EA for giving this guy an absolute goaded SPC, uh, cool uh, SPC graphic, and then giving him a proper send-off, man, because this is, for a 90-rated card, the stats look much higher than a 90-rated card. Goaded, uh, goaded dribbling. Again, the the 86 dribbling brings that, uh, look, it's got 98 composure. The man's got 98 freaking composure. So you look at the 90 dribbling and you're like, okay, that it's probably, you know, it, it, it's probably on, it's probably average. But uh, if you get the engine, like I said, you get that dribbling all the way up to 96. And I think that's really where the bread, and, that, that's really where this card can really excel uh, if you uh, if you use the, uh, the the engine chem style. So if you're a Sunderland supporter, if you follow Jermaine Defoe's career at any stage of his career, I'm sure this might be close to an instant complete for you. Uh, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to say, you know what, for 65, 70,000 coins, I would give it a perfect five, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to say four to five in terms of value. Again, this is, uh, the, the reason, the way I'm valuing this is just an emotional card. Not everyone has to do this card. Again, he's an 85 rated squad. Um, and uh, I, I think he's I think he's about 20,000 coins, a little bit too expensive. Maybe like, should be around maybe like 50, 55K, but I'm still going to give it a four to five. A ridiculous, ridiculous card that shouldn't be too difficult to find links. And then on the pitch performance, I'm going to go ahead and give four and a half out of five. I'm not kidding when I say this, but he moves like 98 Pele. I have that 98 uh, Prime Icon Moments Pele, and he moves exactly like like him and uh in front of net just doesn't miss 85 stamina could be a little bit better uh but didn't feel that be too much of an issue i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna say a thumbs up on this jermaine defoe sunderland card again Links might be an issue, but English, plenty of crazy English cards have come out this year. If you have any of the icons, maybe it makes it a little bit easier. If you have other icons, obviously he gets yellow links into those. So really, really emotional card. Love it. Love Jermaine Defoe. Smash like on the Epi for the Smash like on the Epi for Defoe. Sma hit Smash like on the Epi for Defoe. Hit that subscribe button if you guys are new to the channel. I'll catch you guys on stream for my remaining 10 games of Weekend League and hopefully a red Neymar uh, later tonight over on Twitch. Link in the description. And uh yeah, I'll catch you guys for another one tomorrow. Till next time, bros. Choose later. Adeh.